Hey guys, it's Nina Sol with Spiritual Vibes. I just wanted to do this quick video to show you guys the piece that I'm working on right now. This is a big chunk of Himalayan salt that I'm wrapping. It is a salt lamp. Um, just to show you guys about how big it is, here's my hand. And so it's a pretty, it's a pretty big chunk. It's going to be huge. So this is um, actually, this isn't really, it's kind of like a wire wrap, but it's more of a sculpting um, because I am just wrapping at the bottom. I'm just, um, I'm just doing wrapping on this part. It's still going to have height. So, um, you know, I was just showing you guys, it, it looks like a hot mess right now, but once it's done, I'll show you guys, I'll update it uh, with you guys and you guys will get to see the finished uh the finished product so this is a Himalayan salt lamp Himalayan salt is really good you guys if uh, if anybody has allergies in your your house um, if you suffer from allergies if any of your kids or any anyone else that lives in the house suffers from allergies this is a natural air purifier so um, I'll show you guys let me plug it in really quick <laughs> shit sorry you guys Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Okay. Sorry. All right. So this is when it's plugged in. This is what it does. There's a bulb inside of here. So as the bulb, as while the lamp is on, as the bulb gets hot, it starts to release negative ions into the air, which is a good thing. It, you know, you would think negative ions is a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing. Um, what this does is, the, in any home, well, in any house, anywhere really that you go now, there is Wi-Fi. Uh, a lot of people have Wi-Fi in their homes. Uh, you go any to like any shops, any like even here we have Wi-Fi. So, um, you know, just keeping up with the times and the convenience that everybody uses the internet now, uh, everyone has Wi-Fi. So what Wi-Fi does, it's actually really harmful to the human body. Wi-Fi actually causes cancer. Uh, so the Himalayan cell, what that does is it minimizes the EMF radiation and it actually minimizes the effects of Wi-Fi, the effects that Wi-Fi has on the human body. Um, this is like the good thing about the Himalayan salt lamp is just having this in the home. It, it does that like it it purifies your air, protects you from EMF radiation. Um, it's also really good for removing negative energy and for um, absorbing negative energy and converting it into positive energy um, and if you get like the smaller chunks let's see I don't think I have any on hand wait yeah bullshit yes I do hold on let me go get it so I can show y'all okay so like right here see these are the smaller chunks of Himalayan salt so you well they're not really too small either and they last a long time these are really good for putting in your bath water especially if you have like certain skin allergies you guys excuse my hands I know they're really gross but every time I wire wrap my hands get really dry so um you know I apologize for the ashiness <laughs> I'll put some lotion on afterwards <laughs> um okay so back to this <laughs> back to this so adding this to your bath water this is really good for anybody that has psoriasis anybody who suffers from eczema um, anybody who has arthritis uh, sore muscles uh, just any, anything really even just to do a cleansing on yourself if you want to remove any negative energy while you're also applying the healing energy Himalayan salt is really good for that so what I usually recommend is that you put one of these chunks in the bathtub and put the water on like super, super hot. Like just let the hot water run and fill the tub and, you know, make sure you put your drain in before you do this because I wouldn't want you to like stick your hand in the hot water. Um, so you would, hold on, let me get one of these out the bag so y'all can see. They're pretty. They kind of look like rose quartz a little bit. Oops. Ugh. Come on. Sorry, you guys, I'm doing this with one hand. I got it. I got this. Isn't that pretty? 
It looks like rose quartz a little bit, but it has like, you can tell it's not because it has that salt look to it. Uh, yeah, it's so pretty though. What was I saying? What the hell was I saying? Um, bath. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't stick your hand in the drain while the you know to put the drain in when the water is too hot. So you want to do that before. You want to put your drain in. You want to put um you want to put your Himalayan salt rock in the bathtub. Um and let jeez. Oh, you let the hot water stay. You let the hot water, um, you know, soak with the Himalayan salt. And then once the water is cooled down to the right temperature, to the temperature that you like, um, then that is when, that is when you, um, you want to go ahead and soak in the tub after. And yeah, it does really good things for you, especially for your skin, for your body. Um, it's really nice. So, uh... Yeah, this is the piece that I'm working on right now. Like I said, I know it looks, it looks like a hot mess, but it's not done yet. So it just takes a lot of time, and I've been working on this piece. I started working on it yesterday, and um, I'll be done with it today, though. So I'll be doing, like, a, an update video so you guys can see the finished, the finished product, what I'm doing. And, yeah, I know she's going to be very happy with it because I can already visualize what it's going to look like. Um, and I think that's it. Tomorrow we are going to be doing our gardening in the front. Uh, I know I had recorded a video and I don't think I posted it, but I had talked about how we're going to be, um, doing a small space garden, a small space witchy garden, and we'll be doing a video too, to show other people at home that might have only a small space to work with, but really want to start a witchy garden or an herb garden or, um, um, you know, metaphysical or garden or whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, you know, so we'll be getting some, giving some pointers and some tips and let you guys see how we're going to do our little mini garden. And um, I think, oh yeah, our giveaway. Oh, I shouldn't even be showing you guys because the giveaway is right in the back. All right, I shouldn't even, hold on, let me turn this angle. That video is going to wait for when Red Witch gets back because she went... She went to Tennessee, so I'm waiting for her to get back. She should be back in about a week, so we'll be doing our giveaway in about a week. So you guys make sure to check that out, and um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can get a chance to win, um, you know, in the giveaway. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day and I will see you guys at the next video. Blessed be.